to be fair and I ain't trying to be mean but I hear people say on TV who's on about her first podcast and her guest they talked about ambition and children but no that's not true she Megan talked and talked and talked. I did listen for around 20 minutes I was hoping she was going to be a fresh real brand new podcast but she's lying yet again. I think she made Serene look an idiot I have no idea what she was even doing there support you mates great but now we all know she used the word I over 200 times cause she had a guest who she clearly didn't want to speak it really was the Megan. I do think she knows she looks stupid but I don't think she cares for her it's still coverage it's talked about that's what's important the fame lol. Royal and showbiz reporter Kinsey Schofield warned the Duchess of Sussex that her upcoming next podcast guest will not tolerate Meghan Markle having so much airtime to speak about herself. The royal reporter said the Duchess of Sussex to prepare for Maria Carey to not let her speak the way she did in her first ever Archetypes episode with Serena Williams where the Duchess of Sussex monopolized the airtime to share her own experiences. It is no surprise that Meghan did not allow Serena to speak about her experiences during the podcast. Meghan has no interest in hearing from anyone else about their life experience. She views the podcast as a platform to vent her anger and bitterness at the royals and the rest of humanity that does not acknowledge her superiority. I will not watch any of the future podcasts but will look out for reports from those who are required to listen as part of their job in the hope that one or more of the guests has an ego as big as Meghan's and does battle for the spotlight. Speaking on GB News, Ms. Schofield said, I highly doubt Maria Carey will give her as much time to talk about herself as her friend Serena Williams did. But these are two huge names. Obviously, she's going to use those bigger names to elevate herself, to elevate her brand. But after Maria Carey, we have Mindy Kaling, you know, she's a great comedian and a familiar name. She took the no one spot, due solely to people tuning in out of curiosity, you can bet the listening public will drop this peddler of verbal cack like a hot potato now if the liberal media ignores this little harridan and her royal vegetable, we would all be much happier and the hatred the public feel for them may die down a bit. But knowing this pair of lying frauds it's unlikely they could ever shut up. But the names start to look questionable. You're not familiar with a lot of the other people on the podcast, so I'm not sure she'll be able to sustain that number one spot. I think this is truly curiosity, Ms. Schofield said. The royal reporter said Meghan Markle should be giving more airtime to her female guests to share their experiences including Serena Williams who was not given the chance to do it. She said, if the entire podcast is about how women are supposed to overcome stereotypes, I want to know how Serena Williams overcame stereotypes. She's an incredible athlete, one of the greatest that the world has ever seen. What struggles did she face and how did she overcome them? Ms. Schofield said, this is a great opportunity for Meghan to really make a name for herself and be a face of the feminist movement. But she said the word I over 200 times in this 50 something minute podcast. So obviously, she wants the focus to be on Meghan. After the release of the long awaited first episode of her Spotify podcast, Meghan came under fire for not giving enough time to tennis star Serena Williams to share how she overcame obstacles as a female athlete. How could Marco possibly be the face of feminism? When has she ever stood on her own two feet and achieved something herself? From her father to Trevor and now Harry she has used men, and even with their help, her successes have been minor. She disrespects feminists and feminism by claiming any association with them. I think of the women who worked for Sue during the war, and dropped behind enemy lines without the benefit of a uniform. Odette springs to mind. They were feminists. They didn't sit in comfort and mouth platitudes. Nor did the suffragette who died under the hooves of the king's horse. Mark is sickening and any supposed feminist who gives support to her has betrayed the sisterhood. The podcast, named Archetypes, 
aims to discuss the double standard women face when they chase their dream. The first episode titled The Misconception of Ambition has topped the charts on Spotify around the world, jumping to number one in six countries. The 41 year old labeled the podcast as a place to investigate, dissect, and subvert the labels that try to hold women back during a series of interviews. I do not warm to the Williams sisters although I respect their sporting achievements, especially those of Serena. I do not, however, see that winning women's tennis tournaments is in any way empowering to women. Winning a title where men and women compete evenly and equally, now that would be something. However, they did at least do something. As far as I can tell the example of empowerment that Megan brings to the table is how to exploit men starting with her father and her two husbands without whom she would still be a hostess on Deal or No Deal. After witnessing that self-centered nonsense of making everything about herself while only using Serena Williams' name to draw an audience, Maria might want to rethink the entire thing. Surely with Maria's status, if she wants to do a podcast about this subject, she can present one of her own without Meg's. She wouldn't have any platform to pontificate from if she isn't married Harry. She is such a hypocrite lecturing women on feminism. Her idea of feminism is using her womanly wiles to trap a rich, weak man and then pretend she is a woman of style and substance. She is neither. She studied Harry and then pretended she loved him. She doesn't love him, only herself. The Misconception of Ambition there is no misconception of migraine's ambition. What struggles did she experience? None. Her ambition is perfectly clear, hook up with rich white men who can elevate her status without doing any work, unlike the other podcast guests. It all sounds so boring. Are women being held back? I assume this podcast of hers is only about women of color. Too bad she said. I about 200 times in 50 minutes, she should try the word dad. Sparkle was never held back in her entire life. What a fake she is. Poor Megan, so obvious she doesn't have any talents and has to rely on other celebrities to look relevant. Can't she talk about something sensible, something truthful, something believable? Maybe she's in the wrong genre, she should do horror fiction. She has been trying and copying, everything for a while now, and nothing works. Meghan Markle has to be the weakest woman I've ever seen in my entire life and the most desperately needy and greedy. Acting as she does, she thinks she comes over as strong and influential. Nothing could be further from being either. Such a sad inadequate woman. I only hope you're wrong. It's already been established that she isn't White House material. As for any attempt to disrupt the British diplomatic service, she won't get anywhere near the front door. She's already insulted the governor of Cape Town and is not allowed there again. I wonder which country will be next? This is the second time Meg has taken control of an interview to speak her agenda while silently closing down her guest. When will these color blinded celebrities wake up? and recognize they are being used for their color by a half-color person to peruse that person's career objective. Major celebrity is being used by a minor cable actress, now that is a laugh on the celebrities. Why is anyone wasting their breath giving her advice? Madame Narc will not talk about herself or draw conversations to herself, even, as shown in the last snooze fest if she has to lie to do so. Stop giving her vanity projects attention and free PR. Well I know for sure I will not be putting my poor ears through the torture of listening to her voice whinging, whining, and lying, as it will probably be all about me, 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 and more me, as that's all she knows what to talk about. She is as bad as Horrid Harry as he only talks about his dead mother. I would rather watch the paint dry than I am doing at the moment. Now stand by for all the MM fans to shout you down. They're as bad as Trump's fans, she can do no wrong. For the record, 
I agreed with all the comments. Can we please stop talking about these two? They have nothing to offer except to complain about their sad lot in life poor me as they peer down, out of their bubble. Nothing or no one is more important than they are. Maybe they should go home and take care of their kids.